So you're wondering how Captain Chords can help you make more music? So in this video, I go over this plugin coming up next. What up guys, Mayen here with another music production video. If you're new to my channel, hit the bell, click subscribe so you can get my future videos. In my channel, you will find tips, tricks, unsalted reviews, of tools that will help you in the music creation process. So in this video, I go over Captain Chords and how you're able to use it with external gear like modular synthesizers and analog gear. I will also tell you play by play what I think about this plugin and if it's working for me or not. Okay guys, let's hit the studio and let's get this thing done. All right, so let's get to this. Uh, so I'm gonna get the the Captain Chords playing with the Atlantis, which is a modular synthesizer. And um, let's see how this works with external elements. I have my doubts, um, but who knows, maybe something will work with this thing. All right, so first thing that we need to do is uh, go to software instruments and logic, and then add an external instrument, a mono instrument. Correct, and then we're gonna go here. Add another one. So I'm gonna duplicate this one, and I'm gonna put this one as Captain Chords, and this one's just gonna be the guy where we're gonna be adding the the first Captain Chords because if you don't start writing your music with chords, it gets uh, it gets weird, and I don't do that. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna add another progression and I'm just gonna do this on the fly. So whatever, and then we can go back to the first one. Okay, then this is something interesting. Um, we'll have to like figure that one out later, but anyways. So this one's not gonna have anything here it's just gonna have the captain chords because that's going to like uh, manage the the key that the track's gonna be written on so the next thing that we want to do is here we're gonna write the Atlantis so over here I am going to add a let me see a melody captain chords we're gonna get it to connect to the captain chords that we added at the, the first track and as you can see this kind of like auto populates the the like the notes for you so we're gonna see how this sounds uh, I patched this uh, melodic element with the using the the Atlantis and also for a little bit of reverb I uh, I'm using the Erica black hole DSP so I haven't done anything to this this is just what started doing for me uh, so yeah let's see what else do we need to put here keep playing MIDI notes once you close this yes okay so let's try it and see how it sounds one thing that I do a little bit different is that I use this uh, ERM multi clock uh, to use with uh, with my external gear it keeps everything in sync way better than than just going through like USB and I think this one is number seven the one that I assigned for the Atlantis. Let's check it out Okay So I'm gonna go and play around with the sounds because this patch sounds Not that good a little bit better I think <laughs> uh, but either way I really don't like uh, the pattern so let's change it up and see what this thing can do for us all right so 
let's add a little bit of space between the notes then let's see it has like different patterns and everything here so it'll be kind of interesting to see what all of these ones do let's start with the arp number one and see where this takes us okay let's play it So like, even after getting like a cool patch going, I don't know if it, it it translates for me the what I was trying to do with with the patch. I think so far, uh, I don't know. You guys let me know if you if you guys are liking all the different patterns. This is supposed to help you with uh, with writer's block, but so far, no. Okay, the arpeggios, man, this is crazy. All right, let's bring it down on one octave and see how it goes. So tension. I mean, I, I could see after a while, you know, this giving you something interesting um, to to start a track with. At the beginning, I wasn't really too sure, but let's see. All right, so now I'm going to add uh, some percussion elements to the uh, analog rhythm. Just a little hat, and yeah, let's see how this goes with this melodic element. Let's see, I'm gonna try to like um, make a quick um, patch with the with the braids uh, for a little bit of a, a bass sound. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so here's the, the track that I'm gonna be using for the braids. Same for me, the air multi-clock. And then number eight will be the track that's going to be playing this one. And I'm going to add here the mixing key Captain Deep, which that's supposed to help you with your bass line. So let's go and check it out. So now I'm going to go program the uh, braids and see what's up. All right. Uh, nice program, something like super simple with the braids. Uh, let's see how this sounds with this pattern. I'm not too convinced. Let's try one of those ones, I don't know, Los Angeles.
you to be sitting like right in front of a computer i mean the idea it's great by uh the guys from mixed in keys um uh, with with this like um captain chords thing um but to be completely fair you know it's uh i don't know guys like it, it again you know if, if you want to Stay well uh, uh, making music in the box. This is great. You know, I think it's great. And if, uh, if you're starting, it's it's awesome. You know, I don't I don't think that I'm going to use it much. Uh, to be completely honest, I like being more hands-on in my productions. But uh, that said, I think that um, if you guys want to get it, you know, you should. It's uh, it'll be a fun tool for your tool belt. So yeah. Uh, question of the day is what do you guys think uh would you use it what do you think of of this whole like way of making music so anyways thank you guys for watching